Let's connect SAS and Jump on a Mac. To use SAS on a Mac, it's a great idea to use the SAS on Demand for Academics application, which is a web app for uh, using SAS on the web. So you need an internet connection. And let's start by going to the instructions at jump.com slash learn. This web page has a bucket called Using SAS from Jump. I'm going to click on that. And there are several one-page guides that can help you connect SAS and Jump or learn how to use Jump, uh, SAS through Jump. The one-page guide we want to use today is the very first one, the Connect to SAS on Demand for Academics from Jump. So I'm going to click on that. And this page is going to have the instructions um, that I have on the side panel as well in this yellow sticky note. So you can always go back to this jump.com slash learn and find that page for Connect to SAS on Demand for Academics for Jump to follow these instructions. So these first four steps are kind of summarized in that blue box on the Connect to SAS on Demand for Academics from Jump page. And then the final step is what's really described in that page. So the first thing we need to do is click on this link and go to this page. And it tells us how to register to use SAS on Demand for Academics. If you're an instructor, you would use these top instructions if you're a student and your instructor has already set up a page for you, then you uh, need to follow these instructions here. So that's step one. First, we need to register to use SAS On Demand. Then we need to get Jump and install and, and make sure that Jump is working. And then the next step is to install the appropriate JAR files. While there is an error in how this is working, you can follow these instructions instead. So skip step two on this page and instead follow these instructions. So we want to take the JAR files that your instructor will give you and put them under the package contents of the Jump 13 folder. So here are the JAR files. You'll probably get them in a zip file. I'm just going to click on the zip so they open right here. So the JAR files, if I open this folder, there are three fi fold files here. And I want to copy these three files by right-clicking in the Applications folder. I'm going to right-click on Jump. So I'll save these three files. Um, I'll go to the Applications. I'll find Jump. I want to use Jump Pro 13, so I'm going to right-click on that and click on Show Package Contents. Then I'm going to open these folders until I find the Jump to Java. I'll open Jump to Java, and I want to open the 9.4. And so these files here, I want to copy these guys and put them into the 9.4 folder. And so you can see I've actually already copied them here. So copy the JAR files into the folder for SAS 9.4, if that's the version of SAS that you plan to use. And now we've got the JAR files where we need them. So first thing, register for your SAS On Demand for Academics account, then install Jump, make sure Jump is working, then go to the package contents by going to Applications, right-click on Jump, show the package contents, and then go to Jump to Java folder, and then copy those JAR files into that folder. Then the third step, we can go back to this support.sas.com page. Step three is how to create a SAS server pro profile within Jump. So I've got Jump open. I'm going to go to the File menu to SAS and to Server Connections. And I've already done this before, so I see my SAS On Demand profile pops up. But the first time that you're doing this, you're just going to follow the directions exactly as they're written here. So you're going to select 9.4 when this is an option here. Then you're going to click Manage Profiles in order to make your profile. You're going to click Add in order to add a new profile. And then you're going to add for the profile name. You can name this whatever you want. You can put a description if you want to. In the machine name, you're going to enter exactly what's written here, odaomr.oda.sas.com. So that's going here in the machine. In the port, you're going to put 8561. In the username and password, you're going to put your SAS on demand uh, server user ID and password. And then you'll leave this default authorization as the authentication domain. 
So once you've populated this, you can click save and it will save this profile for you so that anytime you open this, that's going to be the default profile for you unless you have multiple profiles. And then we get, move on to step four. Step four has a little bit of information here or we can go back to that um, one page guide to follow the instructions here with uh, pictures. So now when we open from the file menu, SAS server connections, we did this once in order to make a profile by clicking manage profiles, but once we've done this once, we never use the manage profiles again. Now we just use the connect button and it'll take a second. Now, once it is connected, you'll see that connect button changed to disconnect and it actually tells me that ODA, OMR, dot oda dot sas dot com um, that we put in as the machine name and the port and it says my username here and now down at the bottom we want to establish a new workspace server connection i want to connect to this sas app sas app so i'm going to click connect so this should all automatically populate i'll just click connect here so i connected to the metadata server and now i'm connecting to a new workspace server connection it's going to take a second again, and as soon as it's connected, it's going to update this middle section where it's going to now give me a current active connection. Right now it says none, and in a moment it'll tell me that it's connected to the SAS app. Okay, so now we can see that it's got a current active connection to the SAS app, and so I can click close. So now we've done all the steps to connect SAS on demand for academics with Jump. We started by going to that support.sas.com to register to use the SAS On Demand for Academics. The second thing we did was install Jump and Open Jump. The third thing we did was take those JAR files, unzip them, and then uh, go to the Applications folder, right-click Jump, choose the Show Package Contents, go to the Jump to Java folder, and then put the JAR files into the folder um, for SAS 9.4. Then the next thing we did was create the SAS server profile by opening Jump, going to File and SAS, Server Connections. The first time you open that, you click on Manage Profiles and follow the instructions again at the, that support.sas.com site. The second time you go there, you click Connect up here, and then you click Connect down here to get to the SAS app until you have this final screen that says your current active connection. Okay, so that's how you connect SAS On Demand and Jump. So now that I have Jump and SAS connected, I can open any data set. So let's open this fitness data set. This is a sample data set available in Jump. And I can open anything in Jump by going to File and Open, and then using the directories to find where that uh, file would be on my computer and, and just clicking open. Uh, many file types will open automatically in Jump, including SAS file types and, and many other file types will um, open very easily within Jump. So now I can go to Analyze and Fit Model and use this top red triangle to create SAS job. And it's going to write a data step for my data. I, I don't, It'll run it at the end and a proc GLM for any model that I set up here. Right now it's not including any of my data um, in that data step because I have not yet asked it in the fit model for a model. So if I put um, oxygen uptake as my response and I put some of my variables as model effects. So these are X's down here and these are Y's up here. Now if I use that red triangle and say create SAS job, I can see the data step read in all the variables that I used in that dialog box. So any variables that I put into X or Y are now being read in in a data step. And then I also get the PROC GLM code. So one way that I can do things uh, running SAS from Jump is to open a data set in Jump first of all, go to Analyze Fit Model, make a model and then use that top red triangle to create SAS job. That's one way to get some data step and, and a PROC GLM here. Now I can right click and I can click Submit to SAS. Another way that I can do this is to start from, the, I can, I'll just close these. 
even without having a data set open, I can go to File, SAS, I can go to Browse Data. This lets me open data that's on the SAS for On Demand for Academics server. So Browse Data, if I go, for example, to the SAS Help and open the baseball data, I'm going to unclick this Add SQL Table variable to import it. So this is showing me a preview of what the data look like. I can click Import if I want to bring this into Jump. Or I can just know that these are the columns that are available. I know what this data set is. So I'm going to click Import and bring this into Jump. So here's this SAS help data set that's now open in Jump. Again, if I go to Analyze and Fit Model and ask for some of these things as X's and something as a Y and ask for create SAS job. It would now make me a data step with those data and then show me the PROC GLM for this. A final way that you can access the SAS on demand for academics server and any data you've stored on that server, um, there's a, a website support.sas.com slash on demand. In the manuals, there's a section on uploading data. So if you look for SAS On Demand for Academics, uploading and accessing local data instructions, you can see how you can add data into your SAS On Demand for Academics account on the server. And so you can then access these data that way. So if you just want to open SAS without having anything else open in Jump, so you're using Jump as a shell to run SAS through, you can just go to the File menu and go to SAS new SAS program. And here you can refer to, following these instructions, you can refer to any data sets that are on the SAS on, de uh, on Demand for Academics server. So you can just refer to libraries from this SAS program editor. And once you've written something here, you can right click and submit to SAS. When you do submit something to SAS, if I go back and um, open the fitness data set again, Go to Analyze and Fit Model and ask for a model with some of these variables in it. And do the same thing again. Red triangle, Create SAS Job. If I right click and click Submit to SAS, I now see the SAS output appear. And I can also go back to the File, SAS, and I can ask to look at the SAS log window. So here's my output window is already open. If I close it, I can get it open again. Or I can look at the log window to see the log of my code.